TCU Center, home of the Utah Valley Wolverines. Today, plays host to the Cowboys of Wyoming out of the Mountain West. The Cowboys are coming into Orem with their spurs shining and their guns a-blazing after taking down Pac-12 foe Oregon State on Sunday and handing Denver an 83-61 loss Wednesday night. Freshman Marcus Williams' 30-point performance on Wednesday was the second time that a freshman in Wyoming history has scored 30-plus points since DeMar Jackson dropped 31 at Utah in 2010. Wyoming held Denver to just 61 points on Wednesday, tying their season low defensively and improving to 4-1 on the season. For the Wolverines, Dawes Amak leads the nation in rebounding, averaging just shy of 15 boards a contest. But even his third double-double of the season wasn't enough for the Wolverines last week, who fell to Southern Utah at home 71-81 and improved to 2-2 on the season. Utah Valley still trying to gel together and find their cohesion that Coach Mark Madsen is looking for. Will today be the day? It's going to be a wild, wintry matchup in the West. It's Wyoming and Utah Valley, and it's next on the WAC Digital Network. I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside, social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in, are you? At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval. Before you start shopping, your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Today's matchup between the visiting Cowboys of Wyoming from the Mountain West and the hometown Utah Valley Wolverines from the Western Athletic Conference. Utah Valley starting lineups, Latre Darthard, Evan Cole, Trey Woodbury, Fardaz Amak, and Jordan Brinson. Utah Valley in their customary home whites with the green trim. And the Wyoming Cowboys... As Jordan Brinson tries to save that, goes out of play. It'd be Wyoming basketball. So the Cowboys coming into town in their fantastic old school brown with the yellow trim. And their starting lineups, Marcus Williams, Hunter Thompson, Kenny Foster, Hunter Maldonado, and Jeremiah Oden. Brandon Crow with you here for the next little while. Thank you for, for joining us. Our producer, Ben Schroeder. Our statistician, Greg Fox, today. Wyoming coming into this matchup, winning three straight. And Williams right there, who misses, is a big reason why. We'll get into him a little bit later on in the show. 
But Evan Cole, who just got the rebound for Utah Valley, that's a good sign to see him in the starting lineup. He was out with COVID protocol the last several weeks, saw his first minutes of action this season on Wednesday against Southern Utah, had a fantastic dunk, a couple other performances in the paint, and showing us he has some range from the outside as he misses. Fardaz Amak, the nation's leading rebounder, gets it and one to start the contest for the big fella. Amac averaging about 15 rebounds per game. Again, leads the nation. That guy right there, they call him the Windex Man because he's always busy cleaning up the glass. And he'll go to the line to try and complete the three-point play. And he makes it. Fardaz Amac, who on Wednesday had 20 points and 15 rebounds, gets Utah Valley started in the same way that he did on Wednesday night with the three-point play. Good defense there from Evan Cole. Nice drive penetration. And that's just a good basketball play from Wyoming. Hunter Maldonado. Coach Jeff Linder for the Cowboys said, if you know what, you want to double team Williams, we got Maldonado, we got DeSalle, we got other people out there for you. And they're going to say that Evan Cole stepped out of bounds. So a turnover for Utah Valley. Wolverines on top 3-2 to two early on in the contest. Again, the stands chock full with the cardboard cutouts. Handful of family and friends scattered about. But still some electricity when you get a Mountain West foe in, in Wyoming to come into town. There's another deep three-pointer there from Wyoming. This one rims off wide left. Here comes Jordan Brinson with the rebound for the Wolverines. Evan Cole, top of the key. Now Darthard. Good defense here from Wyoming. Trey Woodbury calling for it. Again, this Utah Valley team without Jamison Overton. Ten on the clock. Woodbury kicks out. Jordan Brinson open in the corner. He got it! Six to two, Utah Valley lead early on. Lots of energy from this Utah Valley team. And Williams says, hey, you know what? I see your three in the corner, and I'll raise you three at the top of the key. Williams, only a freshman, had 30 points. 20 of those in the first half on Wednesday's defeat over Denver. Only the second time a freshman's dropped 30 points in program history. The first time coming in 2010 against Utah. Nice drive from Jordan Brinson. Acrobatic Dawes Amak there to get the tip. Count it in. Wyoming thought it was on the cylinder. And Williams driving gets the contact from Brinson before the shot. So Daz Amak, quick, five points. Utah Valley on top, eight to five. And referees trying to get the situation sorted here. They do. Nice drive going baseline. Try to get the reverse. Cole there with the defense and the rebound. Brinson now for Utah Valley. Brinson with the burst of speed, gives it to the big man. Dawes Amak triple teamed, stuck on the baseline. No foul call. Here comes Williams in Wyoming. Another three-pointer in the corner. This one rims off. Dawes Amak there, gets slapped in the face. That's a foul against Jeremiah Odin. Dawes Amak continuing to gobble up those rebounds. Already three rebounds in the contest. Utah Valley barely lost last year, almost a year ago in Laramie. Nice inlet pass to Cole. Count it. Oh, Reverie, he waves it off. Said before the shot. Oh, man. Okay, then he, he changed his mind. Okay, basket is good. Evan Cole flexing his muscles. Gets fouled, puts it up and in. And Xavier DeSell checks in for Wyoming. As we take another look, Evan Cole gets slapped, goes up and in, flexes, and he looks 
a lot happier and healthier than he did on Wednesday. So that's a positive sign for the Wolverines. And Evan Cole has only been able to practice a couple times. Daz Amok there again with the rebound. Gets pushed from behind. Gets a travel call. But there is, a, there is an underlying confidence that you can see with both Evan Cole and Daz Amak when they're on the court together at the same time. And that's a force to be reckoned with for defenders. Evan Cole, 6'10", Daz Amak, 6'11". Williams going to try and drive. Kicks out. Trey Woodbury gets a hand on it. Wyoming there. Williams showing off that quick speed. And again, another open look in the corner. You can't give... The Wyoming's and Hunter Maldonado, that open look three times in a row. Because he'll make you he'll make you pay like he did there. 10 to 8, Utah Valley on top. Darthard. Now Brinson. Brinson with 10 on the clock, makes his move. And a bad pass there from Brinson. Tipped away. Here comes Maldonado. Trey Woodbury coming in from behind. Evan Cole goes straight up, but Maldonado goes right into him. And a foul against Evan Cole. That'll be his first personal foul. We'll take a quick break. Utah Valley on top of Wyoming early by two. 10 to 8 in Orm, Utah. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Coach Linder and his squad trailing by two to Utah Valley. Coach Mark Madsen and his squad 10-8. to eight. After that first timeout, Fardas Amak already with four rebounds. Evan Cole getting into the mix as well. And it's uh, good to see Evan Cole back out there on the floor with a smile on his face. Again, coming off a of COVID protocol. Him, Colby Lafeson as well. Tim Fuller too. I'm sure we'll see both of those other two that I mentioned later on in the contest for the Wolverines, but right now Hunter Maldonado at the free throw line. And Maldonado makes the basket. Maldonado, the junior from Colorado Springs, misses the second. Fardaz Amak again. Just an absolute beast on the boards. Five rebounds within the first five minutes. Nice inlet pass, Evan Cole from Trey Woodbury. 12-9. Williams with a deep three-pointer after a shady-looking screen at the top of the key. But you gotta get a man, you gotta get some sort of man on Williams, a hand in his face. He's deadly. The Trey Darthur. Dawes Amak. Now Jordan Brinson as the Wyoming Cowboys tie it up. 12-12. And they're gonna call Wyoming foul on Kenny Foster, his first personal for a little shove. Fourth Wyoming team foul. Jordan Brinson looking for some help. 
Woodbury drives, kicks out. Brinson passes up the three, back to Woodbury. Going to try and reset here with 10 on the clock. Woodbury sees a lane, cuts back right, drives. <laughs> Gets the contact. He wanted to throw that thing down, but was strong enough just to lay it in after he drew the contact. 14-12, Utah Valley. Maldonado trying to cross over Cole. Cole already with the foul. Maldonado, good move, and gets a left kiss off the glass. Brinson pulls it back. Evan Cole, the trades Arthur. Amac calling for it. Nice spin move from Dawes. Amac and the flush. Oh, Dawes Amac showing off all his skill set. Todd Phillips, the assistant coach, after last week said, you know, Dawes Amac leads the, lead, leads the nation in rebounds. He can also do it with the offense, but he hasn't even scratched his potential is what he said. And right there is something very exciting for Utah Valley fans to see. Here's Wyoming in the corner now. Xavier Ducell with three points. Wyoming takes their first lead of the contest, 17-16. And if this first six minutes is any indication of how the rest of this game is going to go, go grab yourself some popcorn early because it's going to be a fun one. Evan Cole again draws the contact and puts it through. <laughs> Williams steps off. Foster steps off. Jeffries. And Marble check on for Wyoming. Latre Darthard steps off and Blaze Neal comes on for Utah Valley. Evan Cole, the soft touch from the charity stripe, and he'll take a quick break as Asa McCord checks in for the Wolverines. 19-17, Utah Valley on top with 13.40 left in the first frame. Maldonado gets touched from behind. And Asa McCord, not even 30 seconds into the game, he gets a foul call. <laughs> Referees asking Asa McCord why he's already leaning before ball's even in play. Just jockeying for position, ref. That's all he's doing. 20 on the clock. Desell. Shakes and bakes his way right into the hands of Trey Woodbury. Goes the ball. Woodbury, head full of steam, gets swatted away. Nice play from Wyoming defense. Blaze kneeled with the three. That one rims off. Here comes DeSell and Wyoming with the rebound and the ball. Jeffries, now DeSell with the man in his face. Too strong. Asa McCord with the rebound. Here comes Blaze Neal for Utah Valley going in low, but great athletic play to take away there from Drake Jeffries. A little bit of a lazy pass from Blaze Neal. Wyoming trailing by two, trying to at least tie, if not take the lead here. Maldonado gets his own rebound. Jeffries deep three, and that one rattles through. If there was a crowd here, this would have the feeling of a, like an NCAA tournament game. Both benches are up. Both benches are celebrating and cheering on their teammates. This is great. So much electricity, even the cardboard cutouts got static behind us. Tim Fuller comes off for Taz Amac. And Thompson checks on. Hunter Thompson for Wyoming as Nelson steps off. Brinson attacks the lane, draws the contact. Rebounded by Wyoming. Maldonado with a one-point lead, 20-19, to 19, 12 to play here in the first half. Nice move from Maldonado. He is tough. Blaze Neal, Trey Woodbury. Asa McCord.
Trey Woodbury goes left, finds a crease, draws the contact from behind. This one's going to go against DeSalle. Going to be a foul against DeSalle in Wyoming. When we come back, Utah Valley basketball, they trail by three. 19-22, Wolverines on, down below on the West. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is the premier award-winning student property in Orem. With renovations of nearly $5 million, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or remote, and the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, so safety and support is the top priority. Please now get half off your November rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place. With live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions. With exclusive access. You ready to go? Yeah. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Again, Coach Linder and his squad coming into this game, winning three straight, 4-1 and one on the season. And Coach Linder doing a fantastic job with this Cowboy crew, bringing in some new parts along with Mark Madsen in Utah Valley. And, and right now, the Wyoming on top of Utah Valley, 22-19. A little less than 12 minutes to play in the first half. Thank you for joining us here on the WAC Digital Network on YouTube, the KSL Sports app as well. Brandon Crow with you on a beautiful but yet chilly Saturday early afternoon here in Orem, Utah. Trey Woodbury makes his free throw. Trey Woodbury, three points on the contest tonight so far. Right now, Utah Valley shooting a blistering 62% from the floor. It's 75% from the charity stripe as Woodbury makes both. Twenty-one, twenty-two, Wyoming on top by one. Jeffries loves that spot. Comes off left. Nice rebound there from Trey Woodbury in Utah Valley. Jaden McClanahan. Blaze Neal looking for some help. Tim Fuller top of the key. Ten seconds for Woodbury to go to work. Two men in his area. McClanahan, top of the key. Three-pointer rattles in and out. And they're going to say last touch off of Tim Fuller in Utah Valley, Wyoming basketball. Williams checks back in for Wyoming, along with Maldonado as DeSalle steps off. Trey Woodbury takes a breather. Evan Cole back into the game for the Wolverines. And Asa McCord will step off. Williams, a little bit slower of pace as he passes the timeline. Jeffries surveys with active defenders around him from the Wolverines. Nice pass in low from Maldonado. Thompson has it. Nice slash there from Williams. Air ball. Here comes Utah Valley. McClanahan has it. Colby Lafson just checked into the game. Evan Cole. Now McClanahan. Evan Cole. Mid-range game. That one too strong. Maldonado sees a lane. It's stopped by Fuller. Maldonado goes left, right around, draws the contact, puts it up and in. Count it. Maldonado putting his team on his back.
Maldonado quickly with 12 points, half of his jersey number so far in the first 10 minutes of the first half. Make that 13 points, Maldonado, a throwback type of player. Good footwork, one of those guys that you would like to pick up in a game at the gym or in the schoolyard. Utah Valley needs to capitalize. No field goals in the last two minutes. Good defense there from Fuller. Nice rebound from Cole after the Wyoming miss. Utah Valley with McClanahan. Evan Cole puts a shoulder down. And they're going to call an offensive foul. It's a mismatch. Evan Cole, big, big guy, 6'10", 230, putting his shoulder down against Maldonado, 6'7", 200. And it's about time that Daz Amak comes back in to join his bash brother, Evan Cole. But Evan Cole's going to take a break. Amac, Lafson, McClanahan, Neal, then Woodbury for the Wolverines. Maldonado, Foster, Williams, Jeffries, and Thompson for the Cowboys. Maldonado shaking and baking his way, having his own way with Utah Valley right now. I'm, I'm starting to get the deja vu vibes from Tevye and Martin just a couple nights ago, and you're starting to think what would happen if J.J. Overton was in this game. I'm pretty sure he would be on Maldonado. McClanahan drives, kicks it back out. Lafson, that one that might have been tipped. And they're going to call a foul against Wyoming. And this one's going to go against Hunter Thompson. That'll be his first personal. Eight team foul, so Utah Valley will be at the line. Dawes Amac right now at the free throw line. Maldonado with 15 points for Wyoming. Amac makes the first. Amac, five rebounds and eight points after that free throw. So he's very much on his double double average pace right now. Is Colby Lameson takes a break. Jordan Brinson comes on. And Dawes Amac continues to, to make buckets. Now this is this is an important time for Utah Valley. They trail by four, and this is where they, those role players need to step up here. And when they get their, their time to shine, it's not necessarily about chucking up shots, but making the smart plays. Maldonado. Going against Woodbury, gives to Foster. Foster gets Brinson caught in the popcorn machine, but Foster travels on the ground. Turnover for Wyoming gives way to Utah Valley. Good defense from Wyoming. Amac. Brinson, kneeled with 10 on the clock for the Wolverines. McClanahan, top of the key. Brinson drives, puts it on the floor, kicks out, kneeled for three. Got it! 26-27, Wolverines down by one. Big bucket there for Blaze Neeld. Maldonado, Foster in the corner. Foster answers. Oh, boy. Kenny Foster from Aurora, Colorado. Throwing darts in the corner. 26-30. Wyoming, excuse me, Wyoming on top. A lot of contact, no foul called. And they're going to say the McClanahan last touched it. McClanahan's asking the referees to take a look at it. Now take us to immediate timeout. Kenny Foster. Responds to a three-pointer from Utah Valley with the three of his own. 
30-26, Wyoming on top. We'll be back after this on the WAC. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay, stay safe. safe. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines! Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Utah Valley trails 26 to 30, less than eight to play here in Orem, Utah in the first half. Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Saturday. Anytime the Wolverines getting close in the last couple minutes, Wyoming just continues to step up as Blaze Neal knocks down a three-pointer to bring it within one. And then right after that, Kenny Foster from the corner. Hits another three-pointer. Right now, Utah Valley only has three points off the bench to Wyoming six. Utah Valley leading the points in the paint battle, 14 to 10. Utah Valley only three points off of turnovers, whereas Wyoming's got nine. Maldonado, Jeffries, Foster, Williams. And a whistle is called and a violation against Wyoming. Dawes Amac, nine points, six rebounds. Trey Woodbury for Utah Valley, four points, two rebounds. Evan Cole, seven points and three rebounds. And Maldonado, 15 points and two rebounds. And Williams right behind him with six for Wyoming. Dawes Amac trying to go to work. Looking for some help. Puts it on the floor. Puts the shoulder down. Too strong off the back iron. Williams with a nice feed down low. And a good strong finish there from Nelson. The Irishman from Dublin. 26-32 Wyoming on top. Brinson drives, attacks it, and finishes strong from Jordan Brinson. It's going to be a dogfight the rest of the game. Utah Valley has to try and stay out of foul trouble. Size mismatch right there with Maldonado having his way with Blaze Neal, the solid three or four inches over Blaze Neal. The Maldonado, 17 points. McClanahan now with 10 on the clock for the Wolverines. Brinson to Neald. Brinson, top of the key. Three-pointer, good with the swish. 31-34, Wolverines down by three. 5.30 left to play in the first half. Brinson now with eight points. Williams comes off a screen. And runs right into McClanahan after the shot. He'll get fouled and go to the three to shoot three shots at the charity stripe. And the referees are coming over to the scores table to try and take a look at that last foul 
off McClanahan. And we'll take a look at it as well. After this, there's Brinson attacking to the rack. Strong finish from the UAB transfer. Marcus Williams, the freshman from Dickinson, Texas, has been everything he's been advertised, except for that free throw for Coach Linder so far this season. Again, he tied a career high with 20 points just in the first half alone on Wednesday's night's 83-61 victory over Denver. He finished off the night with 31 points, only the second time a freshman has dropped 30-plus points for Wyoming in school history. And he makes... The last two. Williams now with eight points on the evening. And they have a five-point lead over Utah Valley, 36-31. Woodbury misses just inside the arc. Rebounded from Maldonado in Wyoming. And Maldonado is going to go an offensive foul call against him. Trey Woodbury shuffling his feet to get in Maldonado's way outside the arc. Good defense there from Trey Woodbury. Maldonado's second personal foul. Utah Valley trying to capitalize on these turnovers. Trey Woodbury kicks it back out. Jordan Brinson wants another three. Fardaz Amak there with another rebound. Keeps it high. Woodbury shuffles his feet, drives. Woodbury gets contact. Daz Amak! Oh, big fella! Throw it down, baby! 33-36. The putback jam from Daz Amak. Williams with the step back, three-pointer, rat rims out. Woodbury there for Utah Valley, outlet pass to Dawes Amak, and he finishes the pirouette from the big man. Dawes Amak single-handedly taking over here. 13 points, eight rebounds, forcing Coach Linder to call a timeout. Utah Valley trailed just by one, 35-36. Wolverines on an 8-0 run in the last minute and a half. We'll take a quick break. Good stuff in Orem, Utah, on the WAC Digital Network. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day. Like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. Predicting Utah's diverse weather, it takes an experienced team passionate about putting you in the know before you go. It takes the KSL Weather Specialists. Weather made special. Coach Mark Manson talking with some of the officials. His Wolverines trail 35-36 with a little over four minutes to play here in the first half. Dawes Amak continuing to lead things for the Wolverines. 13 points, eight rebounds. And when he's in the contest, Utah Valley is dominating the paint. Right now, 20 points in the paint to Wyoming's 14. 
Or Utah Valley needs to pick it up as that points off the bench. Wyoming has eight points off the bench to Utah Valley's three. We'll see how they respond out of this timeout. We know the type of players that they have. Maldonado, 17 points. Williams with eight. Williams again coming off that 30-point performance on Wednesday. And we'll see if uh, within the last four minutes whether or not Maldonado and company, Williams, can kick it into another gear here. But so far, again, Utah Valley not playing with their full team, missing J.J. Overton, who before he got sick had 20-plus point average going into the season. As Williams makes the free throw, and not only that, but he was a, a lockdown defender too. And it looks like with every game, Utah Valley is starting to click and form their team together and getting better and better. Williams makes both free throws. Now he's in double digits with 10 points, along with Maldonado. Three-point lead for the Pokes. Less than four to play. Trey Woodbury cross court to Neal. Neal slices and dices away in the key. Gives to Brinson. Brinson draws contact. Floats it up and in. Williams draws contact. The referee's not blowing a whistle. Williams kicks it back out to Thompson. Back to Williams. Williams, top of the key, trying to go against Amac. Mismatch. Amac gets a hand on it. Nice rebound in the paint from Foster, who misses. Rebounded there from Amac. Woodbury for Utah Valley, pushing. Woodbury cuts it back to his left, drives, gets the contact. Too strong. Almost had a beautiful play there. An offensive foul against Williams. Brinson finally gets him. Old Carl Malone, momentum lean there. Williams bumps into him. Brinson goes flying. And a turnover for Wyoming. Utah Valley down 37-38, a chance to take the lead. Something that they haven't seen since the first two minutes of the contest. Brinson feeds Amac. Amac going to go one-on-one -on -one with the baby skyhook, and he rattles that one through. And again, last year, Utah Valley lost by two, but it was a last-second shot that put Wyoming on top. And Jeffries responds for Wyoming, 41-39. The Pokes on top a little over two. Woodbury getting lots of contact in the paint. And Woodbury finally gets a foul call as he rises. Breathes a sigh of relief. Xavier DeSell's second personal foul. I do beg your pardon, Utah. It was a tough contest. Last year was the first time out of this four meetings that Utah Valley won. Utah Valley won on a loss on a last second shot, 69-67. It was a couple years before that that Utah Valley lost. But uh, either way, this this the series history has not been a blowout by either team. Series history very much very close within five points of each other every time they play. Wolverines trailing by one. Dawes Amak going to get called for the foul. And Kenny Foster doing his best to get the pull in the, in the hoop. Foster, the sophomore from Aurora, Colorado, the pride of Smoky Hills High School. Makes that first free throw. Foster, somebody that Coach Linder loves, one of those solid role players who he can just rely on. He added 15 points 
to his fourth straight game dating back to last season at double figures. He was the reigning Mountain West Player of the Week. So virtually up and down this Wyoming roster. You can pick your poison. And the whistle is called. And they're going to call a foul against Wyoming's Hunter Thompson. And that'll send Dawes Amak to the free throw line where he's been very successful so far tonight. 15 points, 9 rebounds for the big man, 6 of 7 from the floor. And Amak comes up short. Needs to use a little bit more legs as we go back to that foul. Thompson with the hand check is what they called. And AMAC coming to Utah Valley like so many. And he misses both free throws, uncharacteristic of him. But coming to, to learn from Coach Mark Madsen. Mark Madsen playing in the NBA at that center position. Coaching in the NBA, knowing what it takes to get to that next level, which is a goal for several of these Utah Valley players, especially Fardaz Amak. Utah Valley now trying to work on defense. There goes Foster, and they're going to call a travel. Foster shuffle his feet. Utah Valley trails by three, 40 to 43, with the buck 15 left in the first half. Amac going 1v1 with Nelson. Amac in the post. Amac doing work. And Amac gets fouled. Amac is just having himself a game today. The little things that don't necessarily show up in the stat sheet are what you see right here. Good footwork. Shuffling. Gets his space. Puts the shot up. Gets fouled in the process to go to the line and forcing Coach Linder and his coaching staff to make some roster moves. Three straight misses at the charity strike for Amac, who's averaging a double-double on the season. Three straight. And he gets that one to fall. So one of his last four free throws. And Don's Amac now with... 16 points. Less than a minute here to play in the first half. Wyoming on top by two, looking to add some more. Jeff Rees loves the long shot, and he buries it. His third three-pointer tonight. And a big boost of confidence for the Pokes. Five-point lead, a little over 30 left to play in the first. Woodbury kicks it back out. Brinson, wide open look. That one comes off left. And Wyoming's going to play for the final shot here in the first half. DeSalle calling for the screen. Doesn't use it. Drives against Amac. And that will go out of play. Good body control from Amac not to draw a foul. Nine tenths of a second left. Wyoming with the inbound, Nelson there, and counts it right at the buzzer. Nelson Rose caught it in midair and put it in. He's a little shaken up, but his team's fired up. Seven-point advantage for the Cowboys at the break. Whew, I got to take a breath. It's a good boxing match going on out there on the court. Utah Valley trails 41-48 at halftime. We'll take a break. Gather up our stats, and we'll be back in a little bit right here on the WAC Digital Network from Orem, Utah. I'm here to ask you a question. Are you all in? Our caregivers are tired. You're tired. The pandemic has worn on everyone. We believe that in order to have a healthy economy, 
and healthy towns and cities, we need to have healthy people who live and work in them. We're all in so our communities can live the healthiest lives possible. Are you all in with us? see things for what they are. If we can see what they could be. If the plastic we use, we never throw away. If the end of one thing could be the beginning of the next. If we know that less can create more. If we can return, we reciprocate, we regenerate. If we are here for others, if we can work as a team, all we have to do is connect, and the world opens up. The future is about giving back. It's not always easy being the exception. They'll tell you you don't belong. That it's not your place. That it'll never fly. But here, you learn that you have a choice. You can listen to those voices can leave them all speechless. But the key component there is you. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? 
Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free. Available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines! Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchased, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Al Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay Stay safe. safe. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, It's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app.
At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born. Emergencies continue to happen. And doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Welcome back, everybody, to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network. KSL streaming app and YouTube as well. The Wolverines trailing the Cowboys from Wyoming 48 to 41. It was a crazy first half, back and forth. And uh, Utah Valley, they're right in it, man. Utah Valley is right in it. They've got to get some production from the bench right now Utah Valley only three points off the bench compared to Wyoming 16 but some positives for Utah Valley they got 
the leading rebounder in the country on their side, and Dawes Amak, who's one point away from a double-double for his fourth consecutive game. 16 points for the big man with nine rebounds. 24 points in the paint to Wyoming, 16. Right now, the only Wolverines to score are the starting five, and Evan Cole, Fardaz Amak, Trey Woodbury, Jordan Brinson. On the other side, Hunter Maldonado and Marcus Williams leading the way with 17 and 10 each. And Dawes Amak trying to start the second half like he did the first. Jordan Brinson steps out of play. The real dagger for Utah Valley has been their three-point percentage, only 30% compared to Wyoming's 62. And one of the big factors for Wyoming in that three-point percentage is Jeffries. Jeffries has had nine points, all three from the three-point line. And Utah Valley was within five, and then they gave up a last-second two-pointer right before halftime to expire. But it's a new half, fresh new start. Wyoming still with the seven-point lead. Thompson, the big man, going to show off his range from the top. That one rims off. Cole gets grabbed from behind by Foster. And Foster looking around is it, it to say, I didn't do anything. Evan Cole had seven points in the first half. Two three-point plays. Getting fouled in the post. And when Utah Valley can keep Evan Cole, nice reverse attempt there from Jordan Brinson. Lots of contact. And the whole Utah Valley bench in disapproval there. And the referee overrules the other referee. Dawes Amak going to go to work against Thompson. And they're going to try and double team him. Dawes Amak can't get that one to fall. So back to back misses for Utah Valley to start the second half. Nice move in the post. Beautiful from Jeremiah Oden. Oden got into foul trouble early on in the first half and didn't see a lot of minutes after about the 12 minute mark. And they're going to call a reach against Oden on Evan Cole. And Utah Valley needs a bucket here. Trailing by nine. And this is a team in Wyoming that you can't let the door open too much longer. Otherwise, they'll explode. And another foul on Wyoming. I feel like the referees have called more fouls already in the second half than they did in the whole first half. And there's the lethal distance shooter, Jeffries, coming in for Williams. As Brinson gets it into AMAC for Utah Valley. Let's right, Darthard. Back to AMAC. AMAC to Cole. Brinson trying to get some wiggle room here. AMAC gives to Woodbury. Woodbury stops and pops. And that's high percentage from Trey Woodbury. Maldonado at the break. The leading scorer with 17. And a travel is called against Maldonado. Just a couple more happy steps than usual. We're, we don't play NBA rules in the NBA. That, I think that would have been okay. Utah Valley 43, Wyoming 50. Cole gives way to Darthur. Darthur now to Woodbury. Woodbury goes against Foster. Stops, pops. Too short. Rebounded by Wyoming. Maldonado guarded by Brinson. Maldonado, lots of elbows. Brinson can't come away at the first block and then get the second block. And this ball is going to be last touched off of Wyoming. And we got two officials saying two different things here. And now we finally have the third official pointing in favor of Utah Valley. Good hustle there from Good hustle there from Jordan Brinson to get that ball back. And the Wolverines. And 
And a coach's warning going against Coach Linder for Wyoming. And some frustrating, some frustration starting to mount here early on in the second half for the Cowboys. Evan Cole at the free throw line, looking for some help. Gives back to Trey Woodbury. Woodbury down low. Amac cross court to Brinson. Brinson on the floor, gets the contact, puts the floater up and in. And a surge of energy off the Utah Valley bench as they only trail by five. Jeffries to Maldonado. Foster trying to come off of a screen, and they're going to call a foul against Latre Dart. They're Thompson to inbound, looking for some help. Finally gives way to Maldonado. Latre Darthur intercepts like a DB, taking the ball across the court. Cross Trey Woodbury. Pump fake gets Maldonado, puts it on the floor, up and in. Trey Woodbury, that's old school. Mid-range game. Got to love it. 47-50, Wolverines down by three. Maldonado kicks it back out to Thompson. Thompson wants a three. Thompson gets the three. The 6'10 junior from Pine Bluffs, Wyoming, showing off his range. 47-53. Dawes Amac, bounce pass to Woodbury. Woodbury double team, puts it up, falls to the floor, no whistle. Here comes Wyoming, they have numbers. Jeffries, Maldonado, nobody in front of him. That one rims off, Dawes Amac. Tips it to Brinson. Brinson comes with speed for Utah Valley now. Pulls it back. Evan Cole has position. He's calling for it. Now he's frustrated he lost that position. Evan Cole, size mismatch against Foster. Double teamed. Keeps it in play, but throws it away. Foster drives. And they're going to call a body foul against Arthur. And Foster sees something against Arthur that he likes. That's two fouls that he's drawn in the last minute. First few minutes have flown by here in the second half. Utah Valley still trails 53-47. We'll be right back on the WAC Digital Network. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Al Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus a $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. Utah Valley spirit animal, as always, present. The president, Astrid Tuminez, showing her support with her family here for the Utah Valley men's basketball team. They trail Wyoming 47 to 53 with 1540 left to play in regulation. Last year, Utah Valley went into Laramie and won on a last second shot by two. Trey Woodbury was there. Trey Woodbury coming out of the gate here in the second half with four quick points. Dawes Amac continuing to do what he does, distributing and scoring. Jordan Brinson, been very effective as well. 
Kenny Foster at the free throw line is drawn two quick fouls against the trade Darthard. Again, the reigning Mountain West Conference Player of the Week, averaging 15 points this last week in both contests. So 47-55, and those two free throws have brought a rejuvenated Wyoming Cowboys bench to their feet. Woodbury slips and misses that one. Ball on the floor. All over the place. Dawes Amat goes down to get it. And they'll call a foul against Wyoming. The big fella putting himself on the floor to get that ball back. And that's Hunter Thompson's third personal foul. It's like a greased pig out there. Dawes Amac. Got the position, had two dudes crash on top of him. The referee is still talking something over here. Thompson steps off, Nelson checks in for Wyoming, and we're back ready to go. Dawes Amac going to go 1v1 with Nelson. Foster comes over. Amac looking for some help. 10 on the shot clock for Utah Valley. Amac with the spin move, trying to get the reverse, and he'll draw the foul against Nelson. And that'll send Dawes Amac to the line to shoot. To finish the first half, Dawes Amac was one of four from the charity stripe. And he makes his first one. Dawes Amac now 17 points, 10 rebounds, so officially another double-double for him. And he makes a second. 49-55, Utah Valley needs a couple defensive stops here. Got to capitalize when Evan Cole... Against Maldonado. Maldonado just making it look easy. Maldonado so silky and smooth. 19 points for Maldonado tonight so far. Woodbury trapped. Kicks out. Brinson back to Woodbury. Top of the key. That's a better shot. That goes in, baby. 52-57. Spark plug that this Utah Valley needed right there. Can they capitalize with the defensive stop here? Maldonado has been all everything. Goes right against Evan Cole. And that's where Evan Cole gets into troubles with this fouls. Three fouls right now for Evan Cole. Foster, Jeffries. Jeffries stops and pops from the elbow, comes up short. That shot was too close to the rim. He likes the longer ones. Trey Woodbury gives to Evan Cole. A little bit too much mustard on that hot dog. Slips through his fingers and goes out of play. Utah Valley trying to be more open and loud on offense with their communication and on defense too. Coach Madsen, his whole bench right now barking orders at the defense with 11 on the clock. There's a deep three from DeSalle. That one too strong. And Amac boxes out with one arm and gets the rebound. 52-57. Wolverines trail. In low to Cole. Cole goes up, puts it up and in. Evan Cole flexing off his muscles. Nine points for the Georgian. Nice behind the back pass from Nelson. And who finishes strong. Trey Woodbury said he didn't even touch him. And Wyoming just cooking right now. 
59-54. Beautiful bounce pass behind the back from DeSell to Nelson. Utah Valley thought it was a media timeout. So they call personal foul on Trey Woodbury. Luckily it wasn't on Evan Cole, otherwise that would have been four. Nelson misses, Woodbury there with the rebound. Darthard with a beautiful crossover. Jeffrey's good closeout. Cole to Brinson. Brinson drives, gets pushed from behind. Count it! And one for Jordan Brinson. That'll be DeSell's third personal foul. Beautiful hesitation from Brinson. Slips through the cracks in the paint. Puts it up and in. And Brinson finishes, brings the Utah Valley Wolverines within two, 57-59. Little over 12 left to play. Cardboard cutouts on their feet, making noise here in the UCCU Center. Maldonado trying to silence the crowd like he has done so far today. Jeffries looks and gets his fourth. Three-pointer tonight. All 12 points from Jeffries coming from beyond the arc. That one even with the man in his face coming off a screen. Darthard slithering in his way. Bounce pass, dangerous bounce pass. Dawes Amok kicks out to Brinson. Too strong. Dawes Amok there with the rebound for Utah Valley. Getting mugged from behind. Takes it himself. And they're going to call push from behind against Nelson. Dawes Amac, 18 points, 12 rebounds. And that comes up way short. Maybe a little fatigue. Utah Valley now with three players in double digits. As Maldonado with double digits goes to work. Ball tipped up in the air. Grobbled up again by Amac who gives way to Trey Woodbury. Brinson drives the lane. Brinson flies to the lane and gets the contact but no foul. Count the layup nonetheless. Brinson with a burst of speed just levitated in the air. 59-62, Wolverines trail by three. Maldonado calls for the screen, fakes instead, pulls up for an open look, no good. Rebounded by Darthard. Darthard pushes it, Dawes Amac. Dawes Amac running the floor, big fella. Oh yeah. 61-62, Dawes Amac. 20 points. They're going to call a foul on the floor. Jordan Brinson, the guilty party. And that's going to take us to a timeout. 61-62, the Wolverines trail. Jordan Brinson showing off his speed, igniting here at the UCCU Center. We'll be back on the WAC Digital after this. Get the breaking news, weather, and traffic you need to know before you go. Wake up to real stories from real people. The News Specialists on KSL Today. Mornings made special. I love this view.
I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. Handful of the UVU fans here on their feet. Even though it's not a full arena, still an electric atmosphere led by those two big guys right there, Evan Cole, Dodds, Amac, for the Wolverines. A big part of why they're only down by one. Dawes, Amac, and Evan Cole combining for 29 points between the two. Jeffries drives. Jeffries gets the contact against Darthur. And he'll go to the line to shoot, too. And that'll be Darthard's third personal foul. And looking at the bench, here comes Blaze Neal. Take another look at the replay. Jeffrey is just so long and athletic. Cuts to the rim. And Darthur there gets him with the body. Drake Jeffries from Mattoon, Illinois. Gets both. Jeffries now with 14 points. 12 of those 14 coming from his four three-pointers. This is a very similar position that Utah Valley was in on Wednesday night against Southern Utah around the same time. They brought it within one. Trey Woodbury with the step back three pointer. That one comes up short. Jeffries with the rebound. And then Utah Valley missed a con about two or three offensive possessions in a row. Then Southern Utah capitalized. Then they extended their lead. Utah Valley trying to not let that happen here today. Dawes Amak again with another rebound. 14 rebounds for Dawes Amak. He very well could have a 20 20 or a 30 20 night tonight. Dawes Amak. Goes 1v1 against Thompson. Dawes Amak goes with the reverse. Couldn't cut up with it. Gets his own rebound. Puts it up and in. Courtesy of Evan Cole. Cole came in, got a hand on it, tipped it right back to him. Asa McCord. Jaden McClanahan set to check in for the Wolverines. Evan Cole reaching in from behind. Careful not to get that fourth foul. Jeffries gets Blaze Neal in the popcorn machine. Somebody's got to put a hand on Jeffries. Five three-pointers tonight. He has not missed from beyond the arc. Jeffries looking like Ray Allen out there. Reggie Miller. 67-63, Jordan Brinson bounce pass to Woodbury. Woodbury creates his own space. Line drive shot, no arc. Cole there with the rebound. Too strong of a putback. And that one will go off of Thompson. Out of play, last touch by Wyoming. And Evan Cole, who looks a little bit gassed, will get a well-deserved break as Asa McCord checks in. Jordan Brinson. And Fardaz Amak steps off. Tim Fuller checks on. And the Utah Valley bench players need to step up here. Try and keep this thing close. Blaze Neal calling for the screen. Fuller sets it. Neal kicks it back out. McClanahan... Passes up, goes reverse, baseline. We'll take it. 65-67, less than nine to play. Williams sizing up McClanahan. Goes to Maldonado. Maldonado goes baseline, shoves a defender, and this one rims around three times before it drops. Right now, Wyoming's bench, 26 points to Utah Valley's five. And again, this is a Utah Valley team that isn't even full. No J.J. Overton. Is Trey Woodbury trying to throw that one to Tim Fuller a little bit too late? And some shades of Wednesday night starting to unravel here. And Maldonado gets tangled up with Asa McCord. And Asa McCord gets the foul called against him.
And the referees are going to look at it to see if there is some sort of... Well, they'll use this into immediate timeout, and we'll take a break as well. Utah Valley Trail 69-65 with over eight to play in Orem, Utah, on the WAC Digital Network. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, the latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more, free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. McClanahan gets a hand on it. Here's a fast break for Utah Valley. McClanahan can't put it up and in. Ace McCord gets hit from behind. Here comes Wyoming now. Alley oop to Jeffries who misses and gets fouled. Jeffries now with 18 points on the night. Trey Woodbury will take a break. Evan Cole checks back in. Jeffries misses the free throw. Bodies on the floor. And they're going to call a foul against Wyoming. And if that's Thompson, that's his fourth. And it is, it is on Thompson. Coach Mark Matson taking a rare break to sit down and talk things over with his coaches. Tim Fuller to the line for Utah Valley. Fuller, the sophomore from Gilbert, Arizona via Weber State. And Fuller 
who's lucky to be back here at Utah Valley as well, along with Evan Cole. Had some COVID protocol issues and trying to get their legs back underneath them. Maldonado working against Cole. Cole trying to keep his ground, which he does. Forces the miss. 67-70. Utah Valley only trails by three. Seems a lot bigger of a deficit than that, but. Got to get Fardaz Amak back in the game. Get that presence in the post. McClanahan looking for some help. And Williams read that one like a book. Here comes Wyoming looking to add on to the lead. Williams flies to the lane, loses control, tipped out of play. And Brinson and Amak will check into the game for Fuller. McClanahan, Latre Darthur coming in as well for Asa McCord. So the bench players did their job for the last couple minutes trying to stave off this Wyoming team as much as they could. And Darthur, the victim. As soon as he steps in the game, they go right at him, and he draws his fourth personal foul. Smart play from Marble. Sophomore guard from Denver, Colorado, makes the free throw. And as soon as Latre gets in, he comes right back out. Trey Woodbury comes in and see if he can stay the last six and a half minutes here. 67-72, five-point lead for the Pokes. Utah Valley trying to come back. Woodbury to Evan Cole with a rack attack. Trey Woodbury to Evan Cole. We've been waiting to see that connection. Saw a little bit of that over the weekend. And they're going to say that this counts. A three-point play here. Marble again attacking. And that foul is going to go against Trey Woodbury. So we take another look at the replay. Evan Cole flying high and finishing strong. Five-point lead, now six for Wyoming. 6.30 left to play in regulation. Trey Woodbury on the floor, goes past Marble, stops, pops, rims out. And they're going to say this one stays here. This foul will go against Nelson. So Nelson with three, Thompson with four. A couple big men in trouble foul-wise for Wyoming. Dawes Amak puts that one through. 23 points, 17 rebounds. Three more rebounds away from a 2020 game. And what an amazing feat that would be. 24 points for Dawes Amak tonight. 71-75, Wolverines trail by four. Marvel. Cuts left, cuts right, goes right at Amac. Amac stands his ground, gets another rebound. That's rebound number 18. And if that one's against Nelson, then he's gone. Amac gets it. And Nelson just comes and gives him a big bear hug. So they're going to say it's Nelson's fourth. Dawes Amak just continuing his sweet stroke. 
And this is what Utah Valley fans expected to see from this guy when he came over. Mark Matson was so excited to have a player like Dawes Amak in his program as he misses that free throw. And we've already seen just in this short, crazy COVID season so far what he can do. 24, 20, excuse me, 25 points, 18 rebounds tonight, 8 of 12 from the floor. Maldonado going to go against Cole. Maldonado spins, runs right into Cole. And I think that'll be Evan Cole's fourth personal foul. So Maldonado tonight, 21 points, 9 of 19 from the floor, 6 rebounds, 6 assists as well. Maldonado misses the free throw. Take another look at it. And Utah Valley wanted to travel. Maldonado makes. Seventy-two, seventy-six. Wolverines trail by four. Trey Woodbury drives. Trey Woodbury goes against three defenders, finishes strong. Looks over at the bench, and the referee has to say, any help? 74-76. You have your heart monitors. Bring them out. Maldonado trying to draw the contact. Rebound number 19 for Dawes Amak. Trey Woodbury drives. Trey Woodbury finishes. Tie ball game. 76 all. Five minutes left. And that forces Wyoming to call a timeout. Dawes Amak sets the single game school record with 19. He ties it up. Trey Woodbury finishes to tie it up. 76 all on the WAC Digital Network. It's not always easy being the exception. Here at Intermountain Healthcare, our doctors have experience treating young athletes, professional athletes, and the athlete next door. We treat everyday injuries, sports injuries, concussions, total joint replacements, and everything in between. Come visit our board certified physicians and surgeons here at Intermountain Healthcare's Utah Valley Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. We're committed to keeping you moving. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. <sighs> Those sweaty cowboys in that last commercial exemplifies what the cardboard cutouts behind me are feeling. What the Wyoming bench is feeling after that timeout, 76 all. Less than five minutes to play here in the half. Utah Valley absolutely destroying Wyoming with points in the paint. 46 points out of Utah Valley, 76 tonight coming from the paint. Wyoming only has 26 points in the paint. Utah Valley, 16 of 27 layups, 9 of 22 for Wyoming. Wyoming making their living tonight from the perimeter. And just inside the arc, huge crunch time here for Utah Valley. Evan Cole with four personal fouls. Latre Darthur with four personal fouls. And you don't think that Wyoming knows that? Jeffries attacks, kicks it back out to Thompson, who has four his own. Less than 10 to play. Williams with the deep three. That one comes off. And that rebound right there is a school record for Fardaz Amak. 20-point, 20, 20 rebound performance. 
School record in a single game for Fardaz Amac. Trey Woodbury wide open. Trey Woodbury takes the lead for Utah Valley. Something they haven't seen since the first part of the first half. 78-76. Four minutes left to play. Williams on the floor for Wyoming. Stops. Goes left hand and he ties it back up. Williams so smooth. And that's not something you want to see as your big fella on the floor. And he gets up fine. Gives a thumbs up to the referee. Coach Mark Madsen played in the NBA with Shaquille O'Neal. And in times like this, they reverted to the hack-a-shack. But with Fardoz's AMAC, you can't go hack-a-mac because he's been very consistent at the free throw line. 25 points, 20 rebounds for the big fella. He could very well finish with the 30-20. Evan Cole drives to the rack, draws a foul. And if that's on Thompson, his night is through. And we're going to go with another timeout. Evan Cole at the line when we return and the WAC Digital Network after this. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born. Emergencies continue to happen. And doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. You ready to go? Yeah. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by KSLSports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. In between the break, the officials changed that last foul on Wyoming from Hunter Maldonado, excuse me, to Hunter Maldonado. Initially, it was thought to be Hunter Thompson's fifth and final foul, but they moved it to Hunter Maldonado, his third. So Hunter Thompson, the lone big man, left for Wyoming. 78-78, Evan Cole at the free throw line for Utah Valley. Less than four minutes to play in regulation. Evan Cole with 11 points, 5 rebounds, 5 of 8 from the floor. Evan Cole a little bit too strong. The most minutes of action we've seen with Evan Cole this year, again coming off of COVID protocols, only had a handful of practices as he makes that free throw, so he's still getting his legs underneath him. And these... Will be some valuable minutes for these legs in the last three minutes and 42 seconds. Wolverines on top, 79-78. Last year, Utah Valley won on the last second shot. Are we going to see another one of those here tonight? Finally, he misses. He's human. Jeffries, his first miss from beyond the arc tonight. Brinson gets stripped. Cole gets it and calls timeout. And we'll keep it here as well. And we'll, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in. Are you?
Utah Valley on top, 79-78. Jordan Brinson lost the ball. Evan Cole called the timeout. Fittingly, Brinson gives the ball back to Cole to start. Cole back in Maldonado in, misses the layup. Last touched off of Fardaz Amak, and Evan Cole frustrated, knowing he wants that one back. 79-78. Utah Valley looking for win number three to go to three and two. Wyoming looking for four straight to make it five and one. Maldonado attacks Cole, crossover, stops, goes up. Evan Cole will give him that. Cole again playing with four fouls, trying not to foul out and, and trying to survive the last three minutes here. 80-79, Wyoming on top. Woodbury double teamed at the top, cross court pass. Brinson on the floor, cuts, stops, puts it up and in. 81-80. And I feel like we're going to have a tennis match here. Maldonado drives baseline, shoves Cole away, and I think that's what uh, Wyoming's game plan is going to be until something breaks for Utah Valley or Wyoming. 82-81, Wyoming on top. Woodbury cross court to Brinson. Brinson stutter steps, gives back to Amac. Amac keeps it himself, going to go 1v1 with Thompson. Shoulders up. Amac gets fouled by Williams. And that's Williams' fourth personal foul. So Fardaz Amak, 25 points, 20 rebounds. What you're witnessing right now and what you have witnessed over the last 18 minutes of this half, 20 minutes in the first, has been school record. 26 points. Single game rebounding leader. And there is point number 27. Will Fardaz Amak get a 30-20 night tonight? Does Wyoming have something up their sleeve? Thompson has three things to say about that. 83-85, Wyoming with a two-point lead. 150 left to play. Lots of pushing and shoving in the paint, and they're going to call Foster. That's Foster's third personal, Trey Woodbury with 18 points. And Woodbury will go to the line and try and get those two points back to tie it up. Woodbury makes the first free throw. 19 points on the contest for Trey Woodbury. Four rebounds, four assists, 8 of 14 from the floor. Woodbury now with 19 points and ties it up. 85 all. Everybody on their feet here in the UCCU center. 140 left to play. Maldonado goes against Brinson. Maldonado shuffles. Brinson stays in front of him. Maldonado spin move, gets around his defender, puts it up and in. Maldonado can't be stopped tonight. 28 points. 87-85, Wyoming. 121 left to play. Brinson slowing the clock down. Woodbury. Cross court to Brinson. Wide open look for Jordan Brinson. Rims off. Rebounded by Thompson in Wyoming. Utah Valley trying not to foul. Needs a defensive stop. Final 62 seconds. Wyoming with a two-point lead. 19 on the shot clock. Maldonado going against Brinson. Kicks it back out. Thompson for three. Thompson misses. Maldonado gets the rebound. Kicks it back out. Jeffries has been awesome from there. And he finishes again. Six three-pointers from Jeffries. Puts a five-point lead between the Cowboys and the Wolverines with 45 seconds left to play. The man, the Wolverines, did not want to have the ball. Put it through. We'll take a break and we'll be right back on the WAC Digital Network. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Ghana's first Winter Games skeleton. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University track star, graduate, and current Olympian Akwasi Frimpong. Yes, I 
South Korea, here I come. Akwasi was the first person to represent his nation of Ghana at the Winter Olympics in the skeleton. Support the next UVU Olympian by joining the Wolverine Club today. Five point game, 44 seconds left to play. Utah Valley and Trey Woodbury with the three pointer. He nails it! Woodbury brings Utah Valley within two. 88 to 90. 30 seconds, 35 seconds, excuse me, in the game clock. About eight second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Maldonado. Going to go against Evan Cole, who's got four personal fouls. Going to try and draw the foul, milk the clock for everything that it's worth. Utah Valley needs a stop here. Maldonado going to drive left. Six on the clock for Maldonado. Maldonado spin move. Evan Cole gets a hand on it. They call a foul. And Maldonado will go to the line with 10 seconds on the clock. And Evan Cole's night is through. Maldonado has been Mr. Everything for Wyoming tonight. 28 points, 7 rebounds, 12 of 23 from the floor with 8 assists. Now Colby Leifson will check in. The big factor for Wyoming tonight, honestly, has been, has been Drake Jeffries. Jeffries, 21 points, 6 of 9 from the floor. All six of those shots have been from beyond the arc. Three rebounds and no shot bigger than the one from about 30 seconds ago. We'll stay here in this final timeout. Brinson on that last play, Trey Woodbury. He just needs a little bit of room and he buried the three-pointer. Utah Valley 88, Wyoming 90. Last year in Laramie, Utah Valley won on the last second shot, 69-67. Wyoming looking to get some revenge here in 2020. These are the games that build character for your programs. Again, this is not a full Utah Valley squad missing Jamison Overton, who averages 20 points. Plus, he's a great defender. Maldonado makes his first free throw. Three-point game, 91-88, with 10 on the clock left. Utah Valley, no timeouts. Maldonado makes it. And Wyoming will call the timeout. They have one more left. And see if Utah Valley is going to try to get a, a quick two-pointer or are they just going to go for a three and hope to get fouled in the process. Trailing by four with 10 seconds left. You have to imagine Trey Woodbury is probably the target, either him or Brinson from beyond the arc. What a fantastic basketball game here tonight. The whack in the Mountain West duking it out. And this had every feel of an NCAA tournament game here in mid-December. Fardaz Amak has been awesome. 27 points, 20 rebounds, 8 of 12 from the floor. School record with a single, se single game, excuse me, 20 rebounds. Blaze Neal guarded by Jeffries on the inbound. They give it to Brinson. Brinson sprints past the timeline. Less than 10, Woodbury with 7. Woodbury with the shot, 
No good. Rebounded by Wyoming with 1.9 on the clock. And a foul against Utah Valley. And that's how this one's going to end. Heartbreak here in Orem for the Wolverines. One of the best games we've seen so far this season. And Colby Lafson called for the foul. Kenny Foster at the line to seal the deal for the Cowboys. Foster misses. Leaves the door open just to crack. And Foster makes the free throw. Five-point lead for Wyoming. Brinson picks it up, passes the timeline, no shot. Final score in Orem, Utah. The Cowboys from Wyoming are victorious 93-88 to over Utah Valley. Again, just a fantastic ball game. Tip your hats off to Wyoming. Utah Valley not playing at full speed. And you have to look at the positives here. Take away that guy right there on your screen, Drake Jeffries, and his six three-pointers tonight. He was just absolutely lethal. You add in a healthy J.J. Overton, his 20 points, and his athletic defense and what he can do. And this is going to be a very, very dangerous Utah Valley team come conference play. Again, you have to, you can't say enough about Dawes Amak. Dawes Amak tonight, career school records, 27 points, 20 rebounds. That ties, excuse me, that sets the, the single single game margin for rebounds, a school record, 20 points. He was three points away from having a 30-20 night tonight. Trey Woodbury, 23 points. Brinson, 19. Cole with 12. Maldonado for Wyoming, 30. Jeffries, 21. Williams with 12 and Foster with 8. For all of our hardworking staff and crew behind the scenes, for our statistician Greg Fox, for Ben Schroeder, our producer Jason Erickson, I'm Brandon Crow saying so long and good night from Orem, Utah. Stay safe out there.